Hey everyone, we're finally finished with the Nilo Poly Shooter Pack V6.0 update, and in this video I'm going to show you all the new features we've added that will help you make better games. The first feature I would like to show you is the new stamina system. I noticed that a lot of newer games, especially survival games, have stamina systems, which in turn made me think to make characters in the project use stamina too. So when you run or jump in the project now, the character will slowly lose stamina over time. I do think just adding a stamina system is a bit boring though, so I went ahead and also added a stamina bar. You can see it in the bottom left corner of the screen. Naturally, you can modify everything you want about the stamina systems, all the values are in there for you to do with as you wish. One feature we've seen you request a ton of times now is sliding, and with this update that's finally in the asset. Characters can now slide around the maps, all you need to do is press the crouching button while running and you'll start sliding. We were working to make on this feature even better in the coming updates, so let us know how we can improve it. If the sliding feature was surprising to you, then this one's truly going to be shocking. Uh, this update finally brings you the ability to walk around empty-handed, which is something that a lot of you have been asking for. I noticed that most of you seem to need this for your games, so there it is. We also went ahead and added some animations for the character's unarmed state to make things more interesting. In fact, check out this epic inspect animation. Also, you can totally punch things now, that's real fun. And yes, this all works for third person as well. Punching AI is very fun, we all know that, but they do tend to shoot you back. Starting with this update, when the character gets damaged in some way, the screen will play a damage effect. The effect itself is just an animation in the player's display widget, so you can modify it really easily. Another small thing we've added this update are the new magazine ammo pickups. There's now a prop for each gun's magazine that you can place in the level for players to pick up and get ammunition for that specific gun. One of you requested this on our Discord server a while back, so here's that feature. And this here is the really big thing this update. We've massively improved the replication in the project. Previously, the way we replicated the asset made it so that having any latency whatsoever would make your game unplayable, which made some of you understandably really annoyed. With this new update, we're finally solving that issue. Things are now completely playable, no matter the amount of latency, whether simulated or real. I do think it is important to tell you to not expect miracles. Latency will still make network games complicated to play smoothly. Rubber banding and other latency related issues will still occur. The only difference is that now you can play the game without anything breaking when there is latency. There are many other changes and bug fixes in 6.0, but listing all of them would be somewhat boring. So let's conclude the video with something for those of you who are in the middle of building a project using the last LPSB update. Starting with this update, we'll be creating upgrade guides that will help you to easily upgrade your project from the version you're on to the latest LPSB version. You can find the upgrade guide for V5.0 projects on our Discord server, along with the change log for this entire update. So just go check those out. And with that, I will let you go. We have a lot more content coming out soon, so make sure to subscribe and join our Discord server to stay up to date on all of that. Links in the description. This was Big O, and I'll see you in the next video.